Today we're extending the shift register example to include this seven segment display. Before we've seen the control of individual LEDs. Now those LEDs are formed into one package so that we can display numbers, a very common application. Here we can see the diagram of the LEDs, how they're laid out and how they're identified with the letters and the decimal point there at the end. To display the individual digits, here for example the digit 0, these are the corresponding LEDs marked 1 which will be on and the ones 0 will be off and similarly for the other numbers. The wiring diagram is more or less as before but for reasons best known to somebody else they've changed the pins which control the latch and the data of the shift register. What I've elected to do is to leave my wiring in place and just change those pins in the sketch. So as per usual here it is in their diagram. I've, as I say, stuck pretty much with the original setup for the individual LEDs. As you will see, my layout is a little different, but obviously the wiring is the same. Let's now then turn our attention to the sketch itself. And as I've said, I've changed the latch, clock and data pins to agree with the previous examples. This is the previous example. I've just copied the pin numbers across from there. The setup, as before, just defining the pins as outputs and avoid to display the individual bit patterns as the numbers change. The loop counts down from 9 to 0 and displays each digit for one second. Once it's got down to 0 it waits for a further 3 seconds and then obviously loops around. Let's take a look at it now in reality. I've already uploaded the sketch so it's just a question of plugging it in. And at the zero, you then get the three second pause before it counts down again. Quite a simple example. I will now show you the next lesson, which extends this to the four digit LED module. The four digit seven segment display works a little differently to the single digit. We have four pins that control which of the LEDs is lit at a time and it does that very quickly so as it says the persistence of vision of your eyes lets you see them as one. Here we can see the pin out of the individual four digits and their connections and the circuit diagram. This again departs from the original one again in the sketch I've changed the clock data and latch pins to agree with the first example. I don't believe in creating extra work for myself. So now we only have four of the 220 ohm resistors for current limiting the LEDs and they're associated with each of the seven segment displays. Nothing particularly complicated here. Looking now at the sketch, as I say, I've changed the latch clock and data pins to agree with the original example. I guess that these examples have been developed by different people. If we take a quick look back at the seven segment display, we can see that the values for which LEDs are on and off are presented in binary. However, in this example, they're expressed as hexadecimal, arguably a, a neater way to do it, if not quite so understandable. So these are the digits that will be displayed, set up just defining the pins as outputs, and writing the shift register in this instance most significant bit first and the value from the table. The loop then just displays each of the numbers and letters for half a second. Let's now take a look at it in reality and get it plugged in. And there we can see it counting through 1 to 9 and then A through F. Another simple example and I'm sure if you look around on the internet you can probably find a nice clock circuit to make out of this.